Hey, yo, what is up, Thrill Seekers? Today, I am back here at Six Flags Fiesta, Texas for another Dr. Diabolical's Cliffhanger construction update. You guys are gonna notice something pretty big as we round the corner, and that is the fact that the drop is almost completely in. The last topper piece that they had to add on is that piece right up there that will be holding the drop chain itself. And I'm sure that if we can hop over there, we'll be able to see them getting that piece ready to be put into place. By the way, didn't really get a good shot of the dog last time I was here, but there it is. By the way, I did get a new phone, so now I can actually zoom in, which is definitely gonna make these construction updates a lot easier. But now we can see the degree of this drop. It is going to be a 95 degree drop and we see that here as it kind of goes in on itself as it goes down. This is going to be an absolutely insane element and it's the first of this kind on any ride uh, of this kind. So definitely gonna be a crazy experience once it opens to the public. Once we start seeing it testing, it's going to be super cool to see how these trains navigate through that 95 degree drop. By the way, something that I did want to note is that once this drop and uh, the last piece of, uh, of lift hill or uh, uh, last piece before the drop gets put in, uh, this coaster is going to be put up a lot faster than it has been going. One of the main reasons is they have really only been able to put in one or two track pieces per day. The reason why is because the catwalks, as you can kind of see up there, are not actually originally on the track pieces. They actually lift them up separately, especially for those pieces that are all the way up there, which means that they have to put in the track piece first, and then they additionally have to strap in and lift up the catwalk section, and then same thing with the railing, um, and it's all comes in separate pieces. So once they don't have to worry about that, and they only have to worry about just putting in track, these track pieces are going to go in in absolutely no time. Like every single week, we're gonna see a new element um, completely done and put in on this ride, meaning this ride should be done relatively quickly. This ride really is gonna be something that you can see from almost all points in the park, I mean, as I'm walking over here to Crack Axle Canyon, it's really going to be the first ride you see. Iron Rattler is no longer going to be the first big wow as you walk into Crack Axle Canyon. Because as you come in, you may see Iron Rattler right in front of you. But if you look to your right, there's a massive dive coaster. You're going to hear people screaming as they're coming down that drop. And it's just going to be absolutely insane. The sight lines for this ride are huge for sure. And that's something that's going to make it even more appealing for guests as they come around. It's definitely going to be like, I really want to ride that. And then they get up here and they're like, I really want to ride that. So yeah, Crack Isle Canyon definitely going to be the hub for thrills here at Fiesta, Texas. Well, hello, Daredevil. Looking quiet, <laughs> which you guys will never see. And once again, I mean, the, the size of this thing is insane. Um, and it's not, even, it's not even that it's the, the tallest ride in the park, because it's, it's not really even close, but it's just so close to the path that anywhere that you stand here in Crack Axle Canyon, you're gonna be able to see this massive ride, you know? anywhere that you go you're gonna be like wow uh, and especially as we kind of come into this the space right right uh, across from iron rattler and everything really opens up like look at this thing look at this thing plus you're gonna be able to get right up under it oh let's look there's the doggy wow this is crazy it's later in the day and I realize I forgot to do an outro. Um, before I go, I just want to say uh, that if you have seen my story or Jeffrey Siebert 
uh, his his post on Instagram, they are actually starting to do the texturing on the supports. So anyone who lost hope and were like, oh man, they're not gonna do the texturing on the supports like uh, they did in the animation, they actually are, um, which I think is really, really cool. So definitely go follow me on Instagram to get more updates. I like repost a lot of stuff during the week and subscribe to this YouTube channel for more construction updates coming real soon. Anyways, I will see you guys all next time. Peace.